basically a mix between desert racing and some of the gnarliest rock crawling that you can ever do. There is not one other single event that can even compare to how brutal this race is. It is very exhausting, it is very mentally challenging, it is very vehicle challenging, like the cars get beat up, we get beat up, because we are all battling to try and be the king of the hammers. King of the Hammers is an endurance race. You've, you're, you're kind of part endurance, part gladiator, man. You're just battling out there, trying to get to the finish. It's really about keeping yourself, your wits, your equipment together, you know, mile after mile. The course is changing with every time you go around. There's new rocks, there's other stuff. The bumps are bigger, they're worse. You're just thrashing and thrashing. <laughs> to get out in front and, and you, know, you know, get out in the clean air and run out there. We, we got out in front and we pretty much ran our own race. You know, my, my new Falcon Wild Peak MTs, man, the, the guys were just telling me they look like brand new after this race and that's unbelievable because the, the stuff we hit them on, I thought for sure we just wasted a tire, a wheel, I mean just unbelievable. Everything did fantastic. It was a perfect tire day. We didn't have a flat, you know, um, they got a lot better traction in the sand than the old uh, 80s did. It was, you know, we really had disregard for the other guys and we just picked them off where we could and just ran the car where we knew it would stay together and just forged ahead. And like I said, I felt like a gladiator out there, I got out there swinging, man. Get out of my way. I wanted to just finish. I had no idea I was actually gonna take first place. This is unbelievable. This is number three. So we'll have to name the car three Pete now.